just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Comes Foreplay, the movie that takes aim on laughter. Foreplay, it's the living end. Excuse me. Hmm? Me and my friends are wondering if we give you some of our popcorn, will you come up the back and screw us? When a freak accident turns Melbourne into a sex machine, <laughs> the girls just can't keep their hands off. <laughs> or can they? After 90 wild minutes of foreplay, you'll be ready for almost anything. Sex could be so much fun. Prepare in advance a hostile mental attitude among the target groups so that at the right moment they will erupt in general violence. has it that Frank Matera is still alive. I want you to work with me. We can blow them all away. Get the daughter. <laughs> then pressure him. And then kill them all. It was a mafia-style hit. There could be a connection. You can die too, you know. You're not immune. We've both been on so many sides, it's difficult to know who's telling the truth and who's lying. Get away from me! You know I hate you! I ain't and cancel. Bring him into the open, trap him, and kill him and leave the body with the others. I think there's a more. Sweep it under the rug, Brian. It's an election year. There is no mole in the CIA. Do it. Don't cross me. I was raped. And I don't feel like I'll ever be the same again. I don't care what happened. It doesn't make any difference to me. I still love you just as much. After the trial, even my husband thought it was my fault. The laws don't protect us, and I don't believe they ever will. What we're doing is extremely dangerous, and of course, illegal. And if we get caught, we'll go to prison. Have you ever been to a rape trial? God damn it! How could you do such a thing? Why did you want to do this in the first place? For the same reasons you did. And if I could think of anything else to do, believe me, I'd do it. When there is no other way, the time has come for the sisterhood. It's reassuring to know that established institutions are turning out people dedicated to their profession. Hey. And then they're rookies. 
Yeah, another wave of invitations for beer and pretzels at the local taps. Will your life be safe in their hands? Because after this checkup, you'll be ready for anything. Show me tits and ass. They're putting themselves on the line for medical experiments. Uh, and drop your pants now! Hey, a farm boy. All right. Well, looks like you've been uh, overworking that little pecker, huh? Nothing left there but stretch marks. All right, cop. Never mind, farm boy. Give me a Yeah. Learning about examinations. Hey, where's the beef? <laughs> There it is. <gasps> Making the grade. Whoa, Trigger. Ed, this hospital ain't big enough for the two of us. And plain bad taste. Let's try it once more, and this time penises stand erect. A new breed of caring doctors are emerging. Compulsive, overeating fat slob. You absolutely disgust me. I hope you choke. Yeah, he's a goner with infectious humor. Hey, Sydney! Did you ever find out if it was herpes? Al, a guy like Howard Pierce is put on this earth for one reason, to spread disease. That goes straight for the jugular. If I was a plastic surgeon, I would make my girl a virgin! Be prepared for a scientific study. It is now time to meet your cadavers that gets familiar with corpses and leaves you all stitched up. Stitches, not just a cut above the rest. There is a moment in war when life and death balance on a razor's edge. An edge that will strip your emotions raw and only leave you with the will to survive. War bus. Three Green Berets separated from their unit, way behind enemy lines. An enemy closing in and sensing final victory. Starring Rom Kristoff, Urs Althus. Daniel Steven. All they want is to get back home, but the enemy forced them to leave a trail of death and destruction in their wake. Oh. War bus, raw courage.